Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's been a long time. I hope everybody's doing well out there and yeah, um we're back with another HTML forms video. Okay? So let's get started. HTML forms drop down list. Radio buttons are great if we want our users to pick one option out of a few visible options. But imagine if we have a whole list of options. This situation could quickly lead to a lot of radio buttons to keep track of. An alternate, alternative solution is to use a drop-down list to allow our users to choose one option from an organized list. Here's the code to create a drop-down menu. Okay? So right here is the code to create a drop down menu. So what do we have? We have a form, we have a label for lunch, the text what's for lunch and the end of the label. We have a select ID lunch, the name of it is lunch and we have options right here with the values of pizza, curry, salad, ramen, tacos. And then a text of pizza, curry, salad, ramen, tacos. And then we have an ending of the select. And then an ending of the form. So which renders? What's for lunch pizza? Here's a picture of it. What's for lunch pizza? And if we, and if we click on the field containing the first option, the list is revealed. So basically, what's for lunch? We click this. And then the drop down menu appears of the selection of curry, salad, ramen, tacos. Okay, so notice in the code that we're using the element select to create the drop down list. To populate the drop down list, we add multiple options, elements, each with a value of attribute. With the with a value of attribute. By default, only one of these options can be selected. The text rendered is the text included between the opening and closing option tags. However, it is the value of the value attribute that is used in the form submission. Notice the difference in the text and value capitalization. When the form is submitted, the information from the input field will be sent using the name of the select and the value of the chosen option. For instance, if a user selected pizza from the drop down list, the information would be sent as lunch pizza. Okay? So, our instructions are. Let's now give our users a choice of buns using your drop down list. In section element with a class of bun type, there's a label that we can associate a select element with. Add, sel add a select element with the name of bun and ID of bun. All right, let's go to the code. And let's see, create a burger. Very well done. Toppings. What would you like to add? Cheese pizza. Okay, so this is the se section class bun type. Label for bun. What type of bun would you like? So we're going to add the code right here. Okay, let's get to coding. So let's make a select. Select. Element. And then... We're going to name it bun ID equals bun. And then we're going to close that. All right, let's run it. Let's see what it says. Nice, we got it. So we did a, uh, we select name bun add. We added the ID in bun. So there's instructions where in, in section 
element with the class of bun type, there's a label that we can associate element with. So we added this select element with a bun and uh, ID of bun. Okay. So the next one is inside the select element add three options. The first option should have a value of sesame and the display the text sesame on the web page. The second option should have a value of potato and display the text of potato on the web page. The third option can be a value that you can choose that you choose and display text relevant to the option. Make sure it's not empty. Okay, let's add this real quick. So let's make options. Let's make our options. Options value equals sess. I mean, and then we're going to add, we're going to close that and we're going to add our text sesame. Close the option. I'm just going to run that. Let's see how it works. All right, that's cool. So we just got to add a three option. This is just fine. So let's add it again. You could actually copy and paste it and just edit and modify, but it's better to like keep uh, keep typing, get used to it, get used to coding, get used to um, writing it out. Um, now we're gonna add potato, and we gotta make sure we gotta close it. What do we gotta put here? We gotta put a text potato, and then we gotta close over the option, and then. We do another one. Last one will be, let's see. What should this be? Let's use tacos. Option value, the text of tacos. And then we close this out. We put tacos and we um, put an option okay and make sure we got a closer select whatever we start must end so we started out with a select here and we should end it with a select here okay let's run it good we got it great so what happened here on the right side is what type of bum would you like so we created a uh a drop down menu with sesame and potato and tacos. So if you wanted to edit that and change that, we could change that to like uh, meat. And then we could do this again. We could run it and then it'll, it'll switch to meat. Okay. So let's bring that back. Okay. Cool. So yeah. So today we learned about uh, making, creating a drop down list menu. You within a form using forms, so I hope everybody enjoyed and learned how to um do HTML making a drop down list. And thank you, and make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And see you next time. Take it easy, be safe out there.